Hey world, let's talk about the big O. Today, I'm going to go over O2 to the N and OM factorial. Example 1, O2 to the N. Let's find a number in the Fibonacci sequence. In this function, I take a number as the index of the sequence and call the function recursively until I find my number. I find it by adding the nth number minus 2 and nth number minus 1. Then I return the value in the Fibonacci sequence. For example, if my number is 5, I have to find my two previous Fibonacci numbers, and to find their Fibonacci numbers, I have to find my two previous Fibonacci numbers, and so on until we reach 1 or 0. In this case, we call the function 15 times. To find the complexity, we need to figure out how many times we called our function. If my number is 2, I will call the function 3 times. If it is 5, 15 times. 18, 8,361 times. 25, 242,785 times. See how fast my number grew? This is O2 to the n. The growth of O2 to the n is exponential. It starts slow and grows very fast. You should optimize your algorithm if you can. Example 2, O n factorial. A great example for this is a traveling salesman problem. Say there's a salesman who needs to go to Houston, LA, Atlanta, New York, and Dallas and each city is linked to one or more cities. You want to find the shortest route that will pass through each city once and only once. For simplicity, let's say we have three towns and we call them A, B, and C. One option would be going to A, then B, and then C. Or he could do A, C, and B. He could also try B, A, and C, and so on. The last three are actually equivalent to the first three. They're just reversed. So in reality, the salesman has three possibilities. But what happens when we add another town? The salesman could go to A, B, C, D, A, B, D, C, and so on. Our possibilities will increase four times. The salesman will have 24 options with 12 unique ones. If the salesman needs to go to four towns, it would be 24 options with 12 unique ones. Six towns would be 360 with 180 options. And what if our salesman had 100,000 towns? It would be 100,000 factorial, which is over 5 million digits long. If you brute force this problem, you will end up with a rapid growth of calculations and have a complexity of O n factorial. The number of calculations or steps increase so fast for O n factorial, you would definitely need to optimize your algorithm. This is it for today. Check out the code example in my GitHub account and subscribe.